NASA is sending a robotic geologist that will dig deeper than ever into Mars to help scientists learn about the early history of the red planet. Many previous missions looked at the planet's surface. InSight mission is a mission to go and probe the deep interior of Mars uh, in order to better understand the very early formation processes of the Earth and all the, the, the rocky planets. The Mars InSight lander will take about six months to reach the planet. It doesn't have wheels, so once it lands, it stays put. So this is the robotic arm. A thin probe will burrow down about 16 feet to measure the planet's temperature. Another experiment will measure the planet's wobbly rotation on its axis. So this is the cover that goes on top of the seismometer. A seismometer will study Mars quakes, similar to earthquakes, which may reveal clues on how the red planet was formed. We'll be able to tell you know, what the, uh, the, the composition of the mantle is. We'll be able to see what the, how big the core is, and, and what it's made out of. The spacecraft will also be carrying small briefcase-sized satellites that will break free after liftoff. NASA will experiment to see whether they can be used to relay data back to Earth. All this collected information could give scientists a look at Earth's early days. We want to understand what happened in those first few ticks of the clock. Um, on the Earth, that, that uh, evidence has been mostly erased by plate tectonics and by mantle convection. InSight is scheduled to rocket away from Central California's Vandenberg Air Force Base this month. It will be NASA's first interplanetary mission launched from somewhere other than Cape Canaveral. People in Los Angeles, you know, Santa Barbara, and, and they tell me even down to San Diego, you, you should be able to have you know, a good show for, for several minutes as long as, the, as long as there's no clouds in the sky. InSight will spend about two years in its primary mission of looking at the heart of Mars. Kathy Young, Associated Press.